So this is the Traxxas X-Max A-Test, which in my opinion is the world's best RC car. And in this video, I'm gonna show you why. So this one here is stock, but we did change the gearing to make it faster. Whilst this one here has quite a lot of modifications. And if you wanna know more about the modifications, all the techno babble, and where you can get these cars from, there's gonna be a link to all of that down below. So the first thing that I like about the X-Max is its sheer size. It's just that perfect size all round. It's not too small to make it unstable, and it's also not too big so that you can't carry it. Next is its looks. I mean, just look at it. And look how easy it is to get the body off. And the battery is going equally as easily. All right, enough waffle. Let's take him out for a rip. Here we are on location. And first, we're going to see how fast it goes. On this one, I want to aim for 60 mile an hour. Oh, what? Out of range. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Challenge, what you gotta do, run up from over there, hit this, and then clear the whole mound. Oh! Nice! <laughs> Next challenge, hit this, and land on there, but not clear it. Otherwise, if we go to the other side of that fence there, then the X-Max is gone forever. Here we go, flat out. You can drive them on two wheels. and it's still going and wheels. went bad on it 50 meters down the road and the radio cut out so we're going to install the dumbo these are dirt cheap and they've got a super crazy long range there's going to be links to this down below so we're going to chuck it in and then we're going to go take it rip again sword's law that is guys four years of the traxxas radio worked perfectly so then we've got the dumbo receiver so I'm not going to bother with a temperature sensor. This is always giving me problems. I've never really ran it anyway. I've just had it cold up in there. So now we've got less cabling. Boom! There you go, Kev. Oh, what's this? That's your original. Come back to home. <laughs> Guys, that is the first ever X-Max on my channel. You go back and watch the first ever video. It's from that car. My first ever car on the channel. And Vinny has got a brand new one. You happy man? Oh yeah. We'll get rid of that ESC though. That'll be straight on eBay for a Max 6. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
And the good thing is, if it rolls over, you got a self right button. <laughs> How's that land? Oh, guys, we got a nasty obstacle. If we hit that, that's going to break the X Max in half, like guaranteed. That's slightly dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 oh, the X Max loves it. Look at that, it's still going. Oh, oh no. Oh, springs off. Oh no. You know what that means? Get it now. Here we go. Oh, who put that there? Oh, oh, is oh, look at that. All the shocks hanging off. Look. Oh, poor X Max. Oh, yeah, look. Bulkhead's finished. Look. Oh no. Oh. What happened? Oh. oh, look. Oh, no. That's why I did a send hinge pin mod. So I've just fixed it all again now, and in a minute we're going to take it to a racetrack and see how well it does on there. But before that, I just want to show you a couple of essential upgrades that you really should do when you get an X-Max. So under here is your spur gear and pinion gear. The stock ones are made out of some weak powder metal, and they're going to break very early on for most people. So you want to upgrade those to a steel pinion and a steel spur gear. Next, the stock rear hubs are a bit of a weak spot, and they can break early on. They are cheap, but it's a bit annoying, so I've put these RPM ones on there and lastly i've got these send hinge pins that go through here it's basically a nut and a bolt and it pins the arm together because without that uh, when you crash often you break this little piece here off and this piece here off so with those few minor mods this x max is going to be an absolute tank and if you're wondering about sparkage i've got these titanium buttons on here i'm going to put a link to that down below and the truck and the upgrades so now let's get the body back on it take it to a racetrack and see how well it does there <laughs> Oh! <laughs> right, so these are up here, they're all racing. But we're bashing. Oh! Oh, all right, let's race them properly. Okay, there we go with the X-Maxes. Where's your X-Max? Uh, down here. Oh, your one? Yeah. You going to win? Yep. Yes. Win he's, he's a subby. Yeah. He said he's number one fan. Everyone ready? Yeah. All right, ready, steady, go. All right, we're last. Oh, there's X-Maxes everywhere. Oh, it's complete carnage. Here we go, flat out. Oh! Ho, ho. <laughs> Sorry, mate. There we go, all the contenders. Martin's doing those things. So Martin's probably going to win. Ready, steady, go! Oh, an X Max is everywhere. Come on, look at it, look at it. Come on, X Max, oh. It's getting messy. Oh, and it's hard, it's no button. GoPro's gone. Hey, he's found it. Oh, what? Oh, what? What the hell? So the X-Max is the first car to feature on my YouTube channel five years ago. And five years on, it's still my favorite RC car. But the X-Max is fast. Oh! 59. It's durable. Oh, 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 oh. Oh! Oh! I think the X-Max is good. Battery popped out, that was it. It can drive on water. It can drift.
It can do stunts. It can jump. Nice. It's easy to work on, parts are cheap, and it's the perfect size. Guys, what more can you possibly want from an RC car? And if you want to know where you can get your one from, and some of the upgrades that I use on this one, there's going to be links to all of that down below.